Hey guys, this is uh, Sergeant Lemming. I had some requests to do a video on how I did custom SATA power cables. This is a scrap of one I have left over from uh, creating the one for my little file server, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you. The connectors that I've been using for this are these ones which you find in the uh, Corsair power supplies. So if you have a look here, you can see that there's a number of like slots basically and you can see there's like a, a metal comb in there and each metal comb connects to a number of teeth down here in the connector. Uh, what these do is when you get your wires you push it down into this slot I don't know if my webcam is going to focus this well uh, you push the, the wire down into this slot, you push it down hard and you can see it gets quite narrow there and it's also quite sharp so that cuts into the cable and actually connects the uh, the metal teeth to the the conductors in the middle of the cable. You can sort of see it, see the damage it does to the cable there. Um, the downside of these is that if you pull them off a cable like this, you can't reuse the cable because that is a potential point where it can touch metal and short out. So uh, when you like, this is one of the cables I harvested them off, uh, and when you get them, they're just on here and you just pull them out, you know, it's, it's not hard to do, you can do it with your fingers um, but this cable is then scrapped, you have to you know, throw it away, you can, you can use the start of it, like you can use back here where there's been no connectors, but uh, don't use this bit, you'll, you'll, you'll regret it so what you want to do is you, you want to get one of these cables and you want to do it with one that still has a connector left on it, like this one um, because you want to use this tab here, the tab on the side of the, uh, the SATA connector to actually tell you which way to orient these ones. So say, well, here's two drives. Uh, flip. So you've got two drives like this, or you know they might be slightly apart in any case. So you want to set up two of them the way I would generally do it. Choose, sorry, use a different connector. Is you get it, put it on here, and then put another one on here. line it all up and okay so we know the tab is on the outside of the drive so we're going to make sure we put the tab on the outside and just basically line them up like that now if you push them down a little bit it should actually mark the wires slightly just do it with your fingers so you're not putting too much pressure on the connector and then pull the whole thing off You won't be able to see this in the video, but there are slight impressions on there where I've actually pushed it down. Again, when you're going to line it up, make sure that you line up that tab. So the tab is on this connector and tab's here. Um, if you get that wrong and plug it into your drive, things will go bang. You will have a very short and expensive modding project. Okay, so just line up all your cables with the little slots. And I just do this, so I hold, use the cable itself to push the the connector down on the desk. And I've got just a flat blade screwdriver. This one's a three millimeter one. And I just get it and just push the cable down into the slot. It takes a little bit of force and that will quite often happen. Get, get it down in there. It'll be quite hard at first, but then it'll, once it starts cutting into the insulation, you'll feel it get a lot easier all of a sudden. You want to try and avoid bending the, the metal parts. Just push down on the actual wire itself, because you want to push the wire into the metal. You don't want to bend the metal into the wire or anything like that. You've got a. I haven't really found a good way to hold these to do this other than uh, sometimes I use an old dead drive um, because you'd be surprised how much pressure you can put on those connectors. 
just keep pushing it down, working it down in there. Last one in there. Make sure they are all the way down in the slots. So you can look at it from the side. You can see they're all the way down in there and they're down in the really narrow part. You can go through now if you want and check it with a multimeter. Um, basically, just make sure if you test from a pin on a connector that's already there to the one you've just put in, you can make sure that it's actually conducting. Um, I'm not going to bother with this one. And then you get, so on these ones, they've got a little comb like this. And you get that, slide it on there, push it down, and done. And you just repeat that for however many drives you need to do. Um, you know, and again, just every time you do it, make sure you line up that tab. Anyway, that's all.